So Jean is a 90-year-old lady who was referred to us after a series of falls at home, um, one more serious one in Tesco's car park. Um, she was referred to our frailty clinic at the community hub where we do a multidisciplinary assessment um, from a consultant geriatrician, a physiotherapist, an occupational therapist and nurses and then we work out a plan as to how best we can help her going forward in the future to help prevent her falling again. Well, I was getting very doddery, really, sorry, very doddery, and I was beginning to feel my age, which I hadn't done before. I was getting terribly clumsy and dropping everything and falling over things, and if anything could be spilt, I would spill it. And there was nothing wrong with my eyesight because I went off and had my eyes tested, so that, that was all right. But I really was, well, not losing the plot, but I just wasn't me, and I, I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Didn't ask to be 90, and I've got to make the best of it. It was suggested that I came here. My daughter, she thought it would be a good idea if I could come along and be assessed, and my GP agreed very happily. Everything was absolutely marvellous. I had a very good welcome, and um, people were so nice, and they explained what would be happening. They asked me what I'd been doing. And I explained all about these falls, and normally I was fine, but the last fall I had, which was in my bedroom, was not good. That was not good at all. But they explained that I would see a doctor and, and a physiotherapist, at which point my heart quailed, um, but it was fine actually, and an OT, so off we went, and it was brilliant. It was excellent, because everybody said they would do something about it, and they did. They didn't just talk to me. The physiotherapist, which as I said I was dreading, and it turned out I could do the exercises, she said she would send somebody to give me a hand, supervise me, and a very nice young woman turned up, and I thought I was okay, but boy, was she tough. But I did, I did improve hugely. And the OT lady came and looked at all the things I'd been complaining about. And one of the things was my downstairs loo. It was impossible, it was very uncomfortable, and I hated it. And I told her this, and she said, the seat is all wrong for you. I just happened to have another seat in my car, as you do, and she trotted outside and threw mine away and brought in the new seat. Now that has made one of the most important changes and it's improved my lifestyle hugely. And um, who else came? Oh, the doctor organised various things, various changes, slight changes to my drug regime. But what I'm so pleased about was that they all actually did what they said they would do. I think it's made a huge difference. It's made me happier with myself. All the women's magazines say, be comfortable in your skin and all this nonsense. Well, I am happier and life has improved and definitely the exercises, which I have to say I loathe, but they have made a difference. So it's been very good and I've been telling all my friends about it. And I'm certainly happier because I feel I know what I'm doing. And somebody has taken some notice of all my miseries. I want to stay at home. I, I live alone, but I have a lot of help. And I'm happy doing my own thing. Perhaps muddling along would, would cover it best. But I'm all right. I'm quite happy if it, things get a little bit untidy. And it's the family that worry about it. It doesn't worry me. It's given me a great deal of confidence that I was beginning to lack completely, and I can quote it on every conceivable thing that comes up. Well, they said at Dame, so-and-so, and, -so, and what is more, they've done something about it. And it, I think it has helped me hugely in all sorts of things, all sorts of ways.